So this is a video to talk you through a drawing workflow for Artset. The first thing I need to do is to find a picture of a line. I'm going to go to the internet, type in the word line and select a picture I like. If I hold it a few seconds, a pop-up menu will appear. Select save image to save it to my photos. Select the image and select edit in the top right hand corner of the screen. Select crop and pull in the corners of the grid until you have the composition that you like. Select crop and then save. I can now open art set and open the image from the photos using the camera icon. It will open up full screen. You'll notice three icons in the bottom left hand corner. The first one allows you to select colors. I like this because the colors are all labeled in the correct terms. The second icon is the tools drawer where you can select one of a dozen or more tools. The third icon is your draw. Each time you select a tool or a color, it is added to your draw. So I'm going to select the color zinc and the pastel tool. I'm now going to start to color all of my light areas. I continue to select other colors that I want to gradually work through the different colors on my picture. You'll notice that I'm trying to recreate the illusion of three dimension. I do this by following the contours of the lion's face. Each time I pick another colour, I'm trying to match the colours in the original photo. I normally start with lighter areas, and I work my way through to the darker colours. Whenever I put a very light colour next to a dark colour, the lighter area jumps forward. The eyes are always important. The eyes are what gives any drawing life. I always lighten the eyes and put a little reflective glint of light in the upper part of the pupils. Once you've got your basic colours, you want to start selecting other tools. Choose some finer tools and start to put in some details. This might be putting in the black around the muzzle and the mouth or even adding in the whiskers. This is one of the things that you will struggle with. I like to use a stylus. It gives you a little bit more control than just using your finger. It does, however, take some getting used to. Remember, keep jumping between the different colours and tools. When you are nearly finished, ask somebody to help evaluate your image. What other details still need to be added to enhance your drawing? Once I've finished my drawing, I'm going to select the picture icon at the bottom of the screen. This will take me back to my gallery. I'm going to select the share button and then select send to photos option. I can now open my drawing in my photos. This means I can import this drawing and use it in any of my other apps.